welcome to day 12 of motor camping adventure. I come out of the tent this morning, right? And I'm like the bird man of Portugal. I've made the mistake of them feeding the little birdies and that knocking round and they're here waiting for me every morning now when I come out of the tent. These two fat boys are knocking round all the time. That's the, the little, thing, you only want the small tiny ones. ones. Yeah, the little cute ones and some really colourful parrot looking things. I don't even see them, they're up there in the tree. You're not helping the situation. What? Oh. <laughs> you see some strange things in the campsite, I'll tell you. We've been hanging around the bottom of uh, South Portugal now like a bad smell. Mm. And uh, I mean, it's really nice around here. We don't really want to move on, but we've got so much more left to explore. And uh, we're watching our, uh, our days of the 30 day camping tick down, which has gone a lot faster than you would have expected. No backache or lack of sleep or nothing. I think we're really adapting to this. I mean, my biggest problem is sunburn. We've really got to source some sun cream today. Yeah, see my sunburn. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. I don't know if you see this, but um, you look like a flump. What's a flump? <laughs> it's like a pink and white marshmallow sweet. Mm. Yeah. I'll take that. I'm going to attempt yeah. to make a poached eggs camping. I have every bit of faith in you, do you know that? Always. Somehow it sounds sarcastic when you say it. No, no, no. When it comes to food, there's nobody better. No. I have every bit of faith. You have to say that, you've got no choice. Otherwise, I'd be very hungry here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the tricky bit because I don't have the right tools. <gasps> Excellent. I know, right? Made nice. it. See? Never lets me down, this one. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out, this motor camping lot, I thought was going to be nothing but misery and suffering. Me right? too. <laughs> Honestly, we thought it was going to be awful. It turns out we really like it. It's going to be a completely different game though when we're back in the UK and we're sat in Wales somewhere and it's fucking pissing down again and you're stuck inside your tent. Uh, next thing you know, we live full time in a tent. Wow, it is hot. Guess how much we paid for four nights? Got to be at least 30 quid a night, 369, 12. I reckon between 130 and 150. Well, we actually paid. 58 euros and 50p. 58 euros? You're joking. What's that, like 12 quid a night for both of us and a pitch? I guess the uh, the next question is, where is it you want to go? What do you want to see? What about Ronda? What we'll do is we'll ride in this direction for an hour or so and then stop and uh, consult the sat-nav. But we're going in the right direction. We're heading towards Cadiz and um, Gibraltar and stuff. Rondas along the way as well. We are on the border with Spain. Well, we've just been riding the last couple of hours, not even put a destination in the sat nav, making up as we go along. That's a fishy roundabout. <laughs> Espana, one kilometre. See you soon from Portugal. You know, Portugal, I think you probably will. We will definitely be back. Wow, it is bloody hot. The bikes are reading 31, 32 just now. And I fell into McDonald's, nearly feeling like I'm gonna pass out. I'm not joking, it is hot. So it's time for the thermal liners to go from the Oxford trousers. Anyway, I got you Coke Zero and a Big Mac, and I got myself a Zero beer. Oh yeah? Spanish McDonald's. Pretty average, really. Yeah, stressful kids' party. Nothing exciting. Yeah, there's a lot of children around us, which should have been the first clue. We've been starting to look for accommodation tonight for campsites, and um, for the first time on this trip, we've had a problem. We keep calling different campsites, and they're all saying they're full. We've got hold of one, and um, the language barrier was too much, so we're just going to head there. She didn't tell me it was full, at least. Take our word for it, it is hot. 
proper yeah, hot and our skin is all burnt already. We really need to find some sun cream somewhere. Yeah. Had a bit of a communication problem with one of the campsites, but she did not say that it was complete or full. So, um, and she told me that the reception was open till eight o'clock. So that is the best chance we've had so far. So we're gonna head to that place, which is about two hours ride, 74 miles. A bit hot for me. Bike's reading at 31 degrees. We can feel every one of those. I think the main issue with the heat is that we are absolutely not used to it. And you have all that bike gear. Six months moaning about the rain and the UK weather. Couple of hours in southern Spain. Oh my God. I think we um, we each got burnt yesterday knocking around the beach in Frisetta, which was absolutely stunning. I just stopped at the pharmacy because we all burned. And um, come here, it's too sunny. So I tell the lady that I need, before you get burnt, cream. A bit after, late for that. No, but protection. Then after you get burnt, something soothing. Right. And then another cream for the face because you cannot use the same one. Whatever, yeah? And then I said, oh, since I'm on it, yeah. let's have something for, um, for the lips with the right. SPF. So you went a bit overboard on the suntan? Well, I bought four things and we in horrible sun at the moment, yeah? Right. And then she gives me a bill and she says um, 72 euros 60p, yeah? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> well, you what? spent 72 quid on suntan lotion? Yeah, but I got a free bag. Look. <laughs> Fucking... Love your skin bag. Yeah. You've been anyway, out. You have been out. Anyway, I didn't know what to do, right. so I just paid and left. I've never spent that much on a sunscreen stuff. In fairness. This this costed more than the full night at the campsite. Let's, anyway. Let's get it on and get so, back on the bike because that campsite shuts about half an hour after our target time of getting there. Alright, let's go then. So yeah, we're, we're pushing now, let's get there. 72 euro 60 worth of sun protection. I bet you, Rich, you've never feel, felt more protected in your life. <laughs> Good job you're here for me, innit, eh? Although, I could have done with that from like yesterday. I think the horse has bolted now, to be fair. Our skin is pretty radiant. Well, the campsite that we were looking for online said it was a lovely campsite in the forest. And um, we're supposed to be 150 yards from it. There's not much forest about. Oh dear, I think we're on for another royal goose chase. Oh, what's this? Mm. I've never seen so much fuck all my whole life. We have a problem. Well, a quick stop in a small village in the fuck sticks of nowhere has shown us that um, we're nowhere near any campsite. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on there as to um, Google Maps is showing it at one location and the sat nav is showing it somewhere else. Either way, we're uh, not at a campsite. So there's a river separating us and where everything else is that we need to be and there is no bridge there until we go 20 mile north or so, back to the main town of Seville, cross the bridge and then come back down the other side. Seville is a big city and there is no campsites there. There is one that is full, we've called earlier today. And that is it. So realistically speaking, it looks like an Airbnb later on tonight. And uh, there is just no campsites in the area. Nothing but farming land in and around us. So much so that where we actually want to be is only a few miles that way. But you've got to go all the way around the river that's over there somewhere. And then back down the other side. What a night we have had of it trying to find a campsite or somewhere to stay. We um, resorted almost to hotels and B&Bs, but then we had the same problem with trying to find somewhere where we can stay, where the bikes are safe. So we called back another campsite that we phoned earlier, who said they were fully booked for the next week, and basically pleaded with them with desperate Dan. And uh, I've told him it's just one small tent and a moto coming, and he says we can come. It's the only option for miles around. I don't know why this is so difficult tonight. 
everything is down by the coast and the popular areas there is nothing in between but farmland well some people say you should have planned it in in advance didn't you yeah but well, there's no adventure in that is there eh? let them plan their trips it'll be fine it always works out in the end well ask me that in 20 odd minutes when we uh, get there